Hello everybody, it's Max McAllister here today. I'm just going to do a really quick video. I just thought this was something cool and interesting you might like to see. This is a super severely stripped down 2018 Honda Goldwing that's in our shop today. We're doing um, our suspension upgrade on it. But uh, the owner had tipped the bike over and uh, the fairing and mirror hit the ground and it bent his uh, fairing bracket. So he wanted nothing on the front of the bike was aligned anymore and he wanted it replaced. So while he was here, he asked us if we would do the fairing bracket replacement. So we did that. So here is what a 2018 Goldwing looks like. And the reason this is particularly interesting is you can really see how the steering and suspension system works on it. Um, so the two control arms, here and inside here that move up and down this piece they call the tuning fork here this is your actual steering like you're used to on a traditional motorcycle this would be your steering bearings here much like you'd find on on a traditional steering head of a normal motorcycle like over here here's a traditional motorcycle Honda Goldwing steering head so this would be your frame and that would be your bearings you have replaced when you replace the head bearings so these are kind of, this is the effectively the steering head of the bike. How you steer this style of bike though, is with a set of, what I like to call remote control steering, because it's li literally remote. We're not physically steering the actual front wheel with a direct connection, uh, traditional direct connection. So there's a yoke here, and this is the tie rods. If you come over here, you can kind of see how the tie rods work. This is the steering spindle on the, on the um, let's call it uh, the fake steering location, right? This, the remote steering location. So this is a simulated upper triple clamp and handlebars like you might find. Um, but you move the steering with the, with the tie rod. The right tie rod on this model of bike is the one that's really controlling the steering. The left tie rod is there in case of an emergency failure of the right. This one is, you know, there to play a duplicate part so you can still have control of the bike. So um, back here is the whole cluster of the front of the bike removed that we'll have to strip all of this off. And here's the part that we're <laughs> trying to replace. So this is not a how-to video. We would never suggest you do not try this at home because this is not for a do-it-yourself or this kind of job. So. Anyway, I just thought it was a, a cool chance to really see the, the suspension up close. Uh, actually, maybe inside there you can see our new replacement shock inside there to replace the stock one that comes from the, that's the upgraded shock we supply. So anyway, just thought that was cool and probably never see it again even here at our shop. So I'm Max. Please like this video and share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. We keep cool content like this coming all the time.